some of you all may agree, some of you all may not. A lot of you all aren't, a lot of you all don't have soul ties with the person. Some type of way you ended up with a soul tie with the hurt. You end up with a soul tie with the hurt from the person you thought you had a soul tie with. And it has caused you to walk these last few months, these last few weeks, these last few years bound by the hurt that someone has caused you and not that person themselves. Although it was that person who caused you to become hurt, but because you're currently living your life without that person, you do not, you no longer, you no longer hurt from that person, but you have a soul tie with the hurt from that person. It's like a gift. Um, and some people don't, don't even know this, but when someone hurts you, that's their gift to you. Oh, the gift of love, the gift of this, gift of that. The gift of hurt. Hurt is a gift. And if you do not put a stamp of return to sender on it, you will live your life bound by the gift of hurt that someone has placed in. When someone hurts you, when someone hurts you, it's their gift to you. So if you're currently feeling hurt by someone who's hurt you years and years ago or months and months ago, that was their gift to you. The gift of hurt. Ugh. How many of us are still unwrapping the gift of hurt? The relationship been gone, but you still hurt. It's because you're still unwrapping that gift. Come on, face the fact that you still are unwrapping the gift of hurt. That Christmas gift of hurt. You're still unwrapping that gift of hurt. And until, and until you rewrap that gift back up and stamp return to sender you will never get over the gift of hurt and the gift of hurt is you you have become so accustomed to hurting that everybody that enters into your life you think that they are out to hurt you oh my god that's why some of you all can't even go on just friendly dates because some little piece of something reminds you of the old hurt that you're still connected to. That I'm hurt. And until you deal with the root of it, until you deal with the root of it, you cannot become developed from your damage. You cannot become developed from your damage. And see, some of you all won't even be developed and that's why you're so delayed. I'm about to develop from this. I, I will no longer, I will no longer suffer from hurt that I should have been healed from. I will no longer suffer from this because my development is now and my delay is no more. I will no longer be delayed by what I should be delivered from. But I'm now, I am now about to be developed from what I used to be de delayed of. You're hurting. You've moved into a new relationship with old feelings. And so when you see that new person who's trying to love you more and they, they trying their best to love you. They're trying their best to love you. But while they're loving you, loving you, loving you, loving you, while they're trying to love you, you're so, you're so damaged that you cannot be developed past your delay. You're so damaged and you're allowing the damage on the outside of your can cause you to miss the good things on the inside of your can. You still can love. You still, I promise you, you still can be sweet. You still can buy gifts. I promise you, you still can do all the things that you thought you once could not do no more. I promise you, you will no longer have a soul tied with the hurt the gift of hurt, because hurt is a gift. You will no longer suffer with that. You can't even love your husband good because of what 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 a, what Mr. Wrong back then did. 
you can't even love your wife good because because of the damages and the delay of the damage. Now, the damage and the delay of deliverance. Some of us have to get past our damage. We know you damaged. We know. But you're going to get past this damage. You're going to get past this damage. Believe ye me. You're going to get past this damage. And you will no longer suffer with delay. They always say, oh, your delay is not a denial. You right. Delay is not a denial, but delay does work for denial. Because you can be delayed so long that you deny yourself of your destiny. Oh, this thing is going to develop me. My development came through my damage. My development came only after I became damaged. So some of you all, it was necessary. It was good for me. I'm sorry. I was trying to kind of like keep it low key off off the scripture, but it was good for me that I had been been afflicted, that I might learn the way of God. Even before that, he before David even said that scripture, I think in verse six to seven, when he says, "Before I was a, I was afflicted, I had gone astray." But guess what? Sometimes God has to allow you to go through the worst of things to get the best of things out of you.